Cape Cod Community College is offering a retreat for managers, and we learn more about Barnstable High School principal Patrick Clark. All of that on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Monday, September 26th, 2016. I'm Sarah Mannell. Cape Cod Community College's Center for Corporate and Professional Education will help managers learn to lead employees across generations. Michelle Constantino, Manager of Employee Relations and Contract Training, says that's a very important skill to have in today's workplace. It's actually really interesting because we're focusing on managing across multiple generations. Uh, this is one of the first times in history that we have up to five generations in one workplace. Um, and, and it creates a lot of challenges, but it also creates a lot of opportunities. Um, so we're, we're working um, on helping companies understand how to get the most out of their employees, help um, with retention, and, and also drawing in new and younger employees, but also realizing that there's a lot to be offered by older employees as well. So how do we, in this time when there's not um, enough employees uh, to fill uh, the need, how do you tap into these, these other generations on either side that really make a difference? And how can that middle management um, person really um, make it a positive experience, both for the company um, as well as, as for the individual employee? Sure. The one-day retreat will be held Wednesday, October 19th. Tickets to the full-day retreat are $29. You can contact Cape Cod Community College's Center for Corporate and Professional Education to learn more. And now we get to know Barnstable High School Principal Patrick Clark a little better as part of our Principal Perspectives series. My name is Patrick Clark. I'm principal here at Barnstable High School, and I've been here for six years. My mission as the leader of this school is to make sure students uh, from really all walks of life have a high quality education regardless of what type of student they are. They could be an advanced placement student going on to uh, an Ivy League school. They could be an English language learner who just recently arrived in the United States. They could be a special education student or a young adult student uh, who needs very specific uh, supports to make sure they're ready for the work world. Or they could be a student who's going through the, the college prep level program, uh, looking to go on to a college or university or into the military or into the work world. So making sure students of all profiles get a high quality education is really the, uh, the mission that I have as, uh, as an employee of the Barnesville Public Schools. The school is a publicly funded building. We have a publicly funded budget. Uh, our salaries, our space, our activities is really based on people paying their taxes. Those people who pay their taxes need to know the quality of what's happening in their school. So the initial push to do some marketing, which is a kind of a new thing in education that hasn't always been around, and opening up the school for uh, groups like alumni groups coming in to have the cookouts here and those kinds of things w were really vital to, to making sure people know the building is alive and the bill and things are going well here and I think that has been accomplished and we're gonna have to continue along that path I'm most proud of everyone who comes to work here every day and those that's the human beings who get a paycheck the adults who come to work here and in our vernacular the students who come to work here every day. I think that you put 2,200 human beings under one roof and you set certain core values, which you see right up here. You put certain parameters. We try to uh, work with the complexity of state regulations and education in some ways feeling it's becoming tighter in terms of the way that we teach and what resources we use, etc. Uh, I could not be more proud of the way that everyone comes in here rolls their sleeves up and works. Einstein has a quote that says, example is not another way to teach, it's the only way to teach. The simple expectation is that when we as professionals come into the building, 
we are acting in the way that we want those students to observe and say, oh, this is what's expected. Uh, it's much more effective than constantly going back to a rule book, a code of conduct, saying you violated item number 14, part B. That really doesn't sink in for a student. But a, an adult who they have a strong personal relationship with, they've built a rapport with while here at school, who sits with a student and says, you know what, we need you to, to shift up the way that you're doing something. We need you to put in a little more energy in this, in terms of who you are uh, as a person or who you are as a student. And uh, that's working for us. And students, by and large, if you look at what we have in terms of our discipline numbers, students come in and go with the flow of school. We ask them to come in here, take off a hat, pull up your pants, be ready to learn, make sure that you've done your homework. And by and large, we've got 90 some odd percent of students who are just going with the flow of all that. And a small percentage who need a little polite reminder every once in a while of one kind or another. So in terms of what there is to be proud of, I think there's tremendous evidence that right now Barnstable High School in its entirety is a school community that we should all be very proud of. Uh, I am a parent in this community and I do choose uh, for my student to come to this school and Barnstable Intermediate School currently and BWB. And the reason why I do that is because of uh, really, a, it gets summarized by a conversation I had with a recent grad. Uh, a student who did quite well here academically, uh, was also a top athlete a few years back, uh, has gone on to uh, Middlebury. He's now in his junior year. And after his freshman year, I sat down with him and said, so how'd it go? Were you ready? That's the question I'm constantly asking. You know, calling homes of alum or I see them somewhere and say, do you have a minute? You know, were you ready? And he said he was very much ready. And uh, he's a, a math uh, mathematics major who's training to be an actuary, a bright young man. He would tell me about that. You were ready for college. And he said, yes. And, and the thing that Barnstable High School provided for me was a readiness to really learn and appreciate about my roommate. He got to Middlebury and uh, he had a, a roommate who was an Ethiopian diplomat's son. And he said it did not phase him one bit the different upbringing that the, the, a, a, an Ethiopian student came with and what his experience was like. Uh, got to Middlebury, got well adjusted and settled and said this worked, worked out great. I had friends at Barnstable High School who were every race and religion and uh, it, it was really no, uh, didn't miss a beat in terms of getting started in school. And an appreciation for students who have life experiences unlike his own is something that he developed in this school. And I think that this is one of the few places as I look at the demographics on Cape Cod including the other high schools that are right here in our own town where we have the diversity of wealth and poverty, uh, students of all ethnicities. We really look a little bit more like the world in our hallways than many of the schools that are geographically around us. That is a, a very important component of education that you can't get from the lesson and from the textbook. You have to come and experience it feel it and live it and that's what the Barnesville Public Schools do. And a big thanks to Barnstable High School's B2B TV for putting that segment together for us. We'll be sure to tune into our hour-long news program Barnstable This Morning weekdays at 8 a.m. On tomorrow's show we will chat with Police Chief Paul McDonald. We'll have our board committee and commission roundup plus we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.